Hello, 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 everyone around the world. So, yeah, today, Thursday, we have some kind of job. This job is coming from another take, from another town. So, we have to fix this. All the items booked in has no power. We have a motherboard here, some kind of HP motherboard. I don't know the model exactly, but it's very easy. We do have the board number here. We do have the board number, which is very easy to check. And here, we have a mini computer. Came in for no power. Some kind of classic. We have the USB port, 3.0 USB ports, HDMI, Ethernet port. Another port here, the switch here. So we have to fix this. What we can start with? Motherboard or a mini PC. Let's start with the motherboard. I didn't check anything yet. So this is an HP motherboard. Model at the moment is not necessary, but I'll check about the model. You see the model of this motherboard under description of this video if you manage to fix this. So the motherboard came in as no power. Let me look for HP. This must be HP. Yeah, it's HP. So all what you need is the power supply. It's already set on 19.32 volts. What about amps? Current 2 amps. Let's raise the current to 3.6 amps. Fine. 3.6 amps like laptop charger. So what we would, would do? I'll connect the power supply, and it's taking 87 milliamps. Here we don't have light. On HP it's very easy. We must have light here. That light shows us that we have 3.3. We have 19 volts. So we have to check here. We have to check what voltage do we have, which voltages are missing. I think we can check. Huh? Ground from the USB ports plus plus of the charging port. 19.39 we have a mosfet like a transistor here on the input you see the input circuit we do have a diode we have a big transistor and from there i don't know where the voltage is going but we can check on this diode we have 19 uh on the emit of the transistor, emitter collector, this is the output of the transistor. We have 19. So from where, from here, where the voltage is going? We have this MOSFET in parallel mode, but this, I don't think this. These, these are the input MOSFET. We have 19. On the other side, we have nothing. We have another big transistor here. 19. Here we have 19. We have the current sensor. 19. So they use big transistor here. So the 19 volts power line is present. That's bad. That's very bad. 
if the 19 volts is present let's check here here we have ceramic capacitors we have 19 here we have some ceramic capacitors we have 19 Here we have the ENE. You can see the ENE chip and the BIOS next. On the last pin of the BIOS chip, 3.37. So why we don't have light? On, on this connector, which I believe is the connector for the power on button, We do have 3.37. Maybe this is a working motherboard. Huh? Let's short the pins. Maybe it is a working motherboard. Pin number 2, 3, 4. No. The board is not turning on. The board is not turning on. So what can be the story here? Let me stick one probe here. Uh, I want to see if that 3.3 is going to zero. P number one. I'm checking straight on the on this connector, which is meant to be the connector for the power on switch. zero it's going to zero and coming back to 3.3 and nothing is happening what about this one zero 3.3 nothing the bolt the bolt is not turning on this one zero nothing we don't have light we don't have anything let's unplug the charger diode let's check for coils to shoot to ground ohms Ten ohms. This is the resistance of the processor. This is not a short. But here we have two coils, four MOSFETs, and if we check here on the other side, we have the driver, ISL sixty two, sixty two. So don't have a short there. Other coils. Other coils looks fine. Huh? That the bias chip. I think there's something which I don't like on this bias chip. There's something which I don't like. Let's go on a microscope. Let's go on a microscope. So we have 19, we have 3.3. But it's still the motherboard is not doing anything. 
we see this transistor we have the charging port here there are the plus which is coming to this transistor is coming here and on the output they put a diode on the middle and after that is going straight to this to this other it's going straight to here this is not ground this is plus and from the plus we have this green current sensor so from there the voltage is going everywhere the 90 volts is fine but if you check on the BIOS chip here if we check on this BIOS chip something is not right here like corrosion like whatever I don't know what really happened here but we have a a non component which I believe maybe it's a capacitor. This this is shorting. The last pin of the bias chip is reading a short. How is that possible? But we checked it, there was three point three. So probably that thing is interrupting the, the the VCC pin of the BIOS chip because from this pin is coming straight from the 3.3 always so maybe the 3.3 volts power supply is interrupted by this thing and I think should be a capacitor should be an interrupted capacitor let's see I took out the thing. Let's check the last pin of the BIOS again. And it's not shorted anymore. Let's try to put a capacitor there. We should don't know even the value of this capacitor. No one knows the value of this capacitor. This is the last size of a capacitor. Very small. Capacitor is now in place. 
cleaning let's check for short on the last pin This is a ground, this is a plus, and the plus is going on pin number 8. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe that was the problem. I'm not sure if that was the problem. We are safe. I always miss my thermal pads. I don't know why. Every time I'm missing my pads. Maybe that was the problem, or or something's wrong on the 3.3 volts power supply. See now we have the power supply. Plug in the power supply, and we have light. Check the light. You see the light? We have light there, and they have like 30 milliamps. Huh? Someone have seen that fault before? I ever seen something like that. So the 3.3 hours from the last pin of the BIOS was interrupted. We now have light there. Let's try to power on the motherboard exactly the same like a tweezer. With the tweezer, pin number one. No. Pin number two to ground. Fan is spinning and is now taking 700. 83 milliamps. And the board is on. So I don't want to waste time. But this is some kind of job from other technicians. They won't pay much. So I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification for video updates. I'll give the motherboard the, to the technician and you will test the motherboard. See you on the next one. Bye.